Good afternoon, friends. My name is Abby Clark, and we're here to welcome Tatiana, Ava Marie, and her band. We're live from the studios here at 21st and Arapaho in Denver. Live performances are made possible by members like you. Become a member at today at KUVO.org. I'm so excited to welcome breakout gypsy jazz vocalist Tatiana Ava Marie and her band Wallace Stelzer on bass, Daniel Garlitsky on violin, and Dion Berardo on guitar. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your music with the community. We're so happy to be here. Yes, go on. I'm excited. Would you like to hear some music? I would love it. <laughs> Maestro. J'attendrai le jour et la nuit J'attendrai toujours ton retour J'attendrai qu'un oiseau qui s'enfuit Vient chercher l'oubli dans son nid Le temps passe, c'est court En battant tristement dans mon cœur si lourd Et pourtant j'attendrai ton retour More? <laughs> uh, here's a classic uh, from the French repertoire made famous by Yves Montand, that uh, also famous movie star. Here is C'est si bon. Mm -hmm. 
C'est si bon De partir N'importe où Bras dessus Bras dessous En chantant Des chansons C'est si bon De se dire Des bons doux Des petits Rien du tout Mais qui en disent long Dans la rue, nous envie, c'est si bon. Toutes ces petites sensations, ces petites émotions qui donnent le frisson, c'est si bon. Si nous nous aimons, ne cherchez pas la raison. C'est parce que c'est si bon C'est si bon de partir n'importe où, bras dessus, bras dessous, en chantant des chansons. C'est si bon de se dire des mots doux, des petits rien du tout, mais qui en disent long. Ces petites émotions qui donnent le frisson, c'est si bon. Si nous nous aimons, ne cherchez pas la raison. C'est parce que c'est si bon. You're watching and listening to Tatiana Ava Marie here on KUVO. One, two, Jangology. One, two, <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> 
C'est le printemps qui vient en chantant Les fleurs des champs montrent l'air des charmants Pour accueillir le beau temps Le ciel est bleu et s'en allant par de Les amoureux jouent à des jeux sérieux Et s'offrent des baisers joyeux Les monons ont sorti la guitare Les gens dansent dans les squares On attendait les mois de mai pour musarder le long des vieux qui dans Paris ensoleillé. Allez, allez, allez. Dans tout Paris, on a la meurabie, la vie sourit, les filles sont jolies, dans leur jupette fleurie. Et du Luxembourg, à la tour Maubourg, dans tous les faubourgs, on parle d'amour, on chante, le retour des beaux jours. Les baisers se prennent à la sauvette, les garçons comptent fleurettes, le cœur palpitant. Trouve ses vingt ans, on marche en rêvant, en sifflant content. La vélodie du printemps. Allez les garçons. This next song was inspired uh, to me by a Django Reinhardt composition called Dinette. Here it is in my version with my lyrics. It's called Viens me retrouver. Mm. 
Quand dans le noir, un trait d'espoir surgit encore en ma mémoire, je peux revoir le doux regard qui me tire enfin de ce vieux cafard. Tes yeux cibles miraculeux, un amour pieux, contagieux, délicieux aux aveux, vertigineux. Tu fais revenir le temps des amours d'enfant, renais le printemps. Je sens dans mes baisers un goût de dimanche tressé. C'est toi, je sais, mon grand succès, ma rue de la paix, moi tu y es. Mon blondinet, Pierrot distrait, viens me retrouver. Tu fais revenir le temps des amours d'enfant, renais le printemps. Je sens dans tes baisers un goût de guimauve tressé. Sans toi et moi, c'est du chinois. C'est toi mon roi, mon Dalai Lama. La seule joie que je conçois, son bérésina. Tatiana Ava Marie and her band here on KUVO. Let's play Douce Ambiance. Rue de Paris, rue de Paris, vie qui nous mène vers l'oubli. L'air d'un violon de cigane sans cesse nous poursuit. Dans les tripots et dans les bistrots, on vient y dépenser nos vies. Les gueules sont toujours les mêmes. La nuit, tous les chats sont gris. On vit sur des quais de Seine, printemps, été, hiver. On descend au bois de Vincennes pour s'y mettre au vert. Viens, mon ami, viens, ma jolie, viens boire à ta mélancolie. Bien goûter à l'ennui dans la douce ambiance de Paris, la douce ambiance de Paris, la douce ambiance de Paris.
revient toujours L'aube du jour Reviennent les regrets aussi Au fond du verre Un visage Se dessine dans la lit On se souvient Du bel Adrien Et de la charmante Elodie On sait qu'on boit Toujours seul Dans une foule de nouveaux amis Et pourtant Ça recommence Dès que le jour s'achève On se donne une chance pour briser ses rêves Tu veux une bière, encore un verre, encore une larme d'eau de vie Au fond on est bien là, non Dans la douce ambiance de Paris La douce ambiance de Paris La douce ambiance De Paris C'est mon cœur C'est là que je viens Retrouver mon âme Toute ma flamme Tout mon bonheur Quand je revois Ma petite église Où les mariages allaient gaiement Je vois encore Ma vieille maison grise Où même la brise Parle d'enfant Elle me raconte comme autrefois de jolis contes Bonjour passé, je vous revois Un soir d'hiver, une musique Les yeux très doux, tout un roman Tout un roman d'amour poétique Et pathétique, mais il m'entend Je 
mais je suis ému Et dans ma tête il y a des souvenirs jamais perdus Un soir d'hiver, une musique Les yeux très doux, les tiens maman Tout un roman d'amour poétique Pathétique, mais ni elle m'entend Tout un roman d'amour poétique Pathétique, mais ni elle m'entend Tatiana Avery and her band on KUVO. Let's do one more. I would love to. Let's do um, the favorite French song of everyone on earth. <laughs> <laughs> it's called La Vie en Rose, which means life in pink, or rather to see life through rose colored glasses, I guess. <laughs> C'est les miens Un rire Qui se perd sur sa bouche Voilà Le portrait sans retouche De l'homme auquel J'appartiens Il me prend dans ses bras Qu'il me parle tout bas Je vois la vie en rose Il me dit des mots d'amour Des mots de tous les jours Et ça me fait quelque chose Entrer dans mon cœur une part de bonheur dont je connais la cause, c'est lui pour moi et moi pour lui dans la vie. Il me l'a dit, me l'a juré pour la vie. Et dès que je l'aperçois, alors je sens moi mon cœur qui bat. plus finir un grand bonheur qui prend sa place les ennuis les chagrins s'effacent heureux heureux à en mourir quand il me prend 
ses bras qu'il me parle tout bas je vois la vie en rose il me dit des mots d'amour des mots de tous les jours et ça me fait quelque chose il est entré Une part de bonheur dont je connais la cause c'est lui pour moi moi pour lui dans la vie il me l'a dit l'a juré pour la vie et dès que je l'aperçois alors je sens en moi mon cœur qui bat. Wow. Tatiana Ava Marie and her band, joined by Wallace Stelzer on bass, Daniel Garlitsky on violin, and Dion Berardo on guitar. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your music with the community here on KUVO. That was just gorgeous. Of course. Uh, so you're, you know, Brooklyn-based artist. You're known as a transatlantic band leader and vocalist. New York Times has given you the nickname the Gypsy Jazz Warbler. Your sound embodies the vintage Parisian art scene. I mean, I was just transported to another place in time listening to you. Starry Sky, A Night in Paris. You're just like a time traveler, and I'm so here for it. Um, you know, you've been called an international ambassador of the 1930s Paris scene and have played some of the most important stages in America, including Blue Note, Dizzy's, Birdland, and the New Orleans Jazz Heritage Festival, as well as the Tuscan Jazz Festival, to name a few. And you've played on many stages around the world. You formed the Avalon Jazz Band, which represents both Parisian culture and the bohemian spirit of New York City. I've took a look at your YouTube channel and it's got over 70 million views and it's filled with these timeless collaborative performances. I'm just blown away. I, I'm so excited to get into it. You are in the middle of a tour. You just started. How's that going? How's your first stops? You know everything about me. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I did my homework. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is correct. This is correct. Good. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we started um, this tour in uh, Scottsdale, which is uh, close to Phoenix in Arizona. Mm. And now we're here in Denver and about to play Dazzle tonight and two shows tomorrow. And then we're going to California. Um, I have to say, I'm really, really happy to be in this part of the world. Uh, we took a little road trip between, we drove from Phoenix to Denver, right? Mm -hmm. So we were road tripping, we saw the Grand Canyon. Oh. Uh, and the, I have a very special place in my heart for this area in, in, in particular. Yeah, it's it's breathtakingly gorgeous. I'm glad you're enjoying and you're driving around, like really seeing the land. Uh, I, I grew up, my father works, um, he's a film composer. Mm -hmm. And so at home we were watching movies nonstop, like all the time. <laughs> and so he was a huge fan of Westerns. And so I grew up watching all these cowboy movies and <laughs> this might sound silly to you, but to me, driving through, you know, Arizona and Colorado, I was in a cowboy movie. I was so happy. <laughs> I cannot even tell you. You know, you were just talking about how I transported you to Paris under the stars, etc. Well, this is what is exotic to me. America is very exotic to me. <laughs> um, that doesn't. And, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> and it's and it's just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful country, really. Yeah, doesn't sound crazy at all. It is really gorgeous, especially out here in the West. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. I want to take it back to your upbringings, your beginnings. You were born and raised in Europe, 
And from a professional music family, you've mentioned your father, a Swiss, a Swiss French composer and uh, a Romanian classical violinist. Was music always around you growing up? Yes, all the time. Um, I, I had no idea that other people didn't, didn't grow up with music playing all day long. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, that was a shock when I, when I found that out. I was like, how do you survive? <laughs> <laughs> um, because really, they, they were not only playing music, but listening to music. And my father was like constantly at the piano singing and singing duets with me. And it, it was just a way of life more than a music education per se. You know? Yeah, growing up under the piano will do that. Um, and you really brought that artistic energy into your life before your 20s had ended, or your, before you hit your 20s, you recorded several albums, you established, um, you're an established artist on the Paris stage, you wrote and directed two musicals, also pursuing a master's degree in medieval studies. I mean, you embrace that interdisciplinary approach to your creation. How has that, uh, you know, shaped you as an artist? Or as a human being. As maybe. a human being, period. <laughs> um, I, I don't see any difference between art and being alive. Mm. Uh, I think that everything you do all the time should be done very uh, thoughtfully and artistically, right? So um, even if I was studying medieval poetry or writing an essay or tying my shoes or listening to music or playing music, I try to always do it in a very artful way. And I think my parents really helped um, teach me that, I guess, uh, without me even knowing it. It wasn't something that I had to take lessons in, right? I, I, I never really took music lessons or singing lessons. It was just all uh, learning how to live was learning how to become an artist, really. Hmm. I mean, you were just inspired from the start. I read that, you know, you really gravitated towards your father's New Orleans jazz records, inspired by your mother's heritage of klezmer and gypsy folklore music. You're known to be drawn to that Parisian arts scene era spanning the 20s and the 60s. What is it about the music and the time period that speaks to you? Um, Paris specifically in, in the 30s was extremely interesting because it was at the crossroads of the world in, in a way. Um, Americans were were leaving America already like in the 20s because they wanted to have a drink <laughs> <laughs> and you couldn't party and drink during prohibition. So a lot of people like... Cole Porter, Hemingway, Fitzgerald, they were all coming to Paris. Um, and artists like um, Josephine Baker were also because, of course, um, I mean, African-Americans, uh, there was no uh, restriction or, or any, I, I, th I guess they felt more free in Paris, too, because there was no segregation or anything. So everyone was kind of partying together. And at the same time, people were... Uh, fleeing from Eastern Europe and coming from, you know, Russia or, or Eastern Europe in general, whether it's Jewish people or gypsies, they were all coming to Paris. Mm. And this made for an extremely interesting mix of music because you had the beginnings of jazz, but you also had French popular music, chansons réalistes, etc. But you also had the influence of... Um, Gypsy, klezmer, Eastern European music. So really, that's what interests me in this time period. It's kind of you can do anything you want because you have so many influences to choose from, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm learning every day about jazz, and there is that common thread of these musicians going to Paris during that time period, that sense of freedom and just artistic exploration. Um, what are some of your influences in that time frame of music? Uh, you mean the French French yeah, music? Yeah. Well, of course, I, I grew up w listening to Django Reinhardt and Stefan Grappelli, especially with a mother who is a violinist. Right? Yeah. So Grappelli was playing nonstop. Um, I was very influenced um, by someone like uh, Henri Salvador, who is not very well known in America. He was, I guess you would say that he was our one of our first crooners, uh, he's kind of a Nat King Cole figure. Um, and Yves Montand, who was very famous in the cinema, he he um, he made a movie with Marilyn Monroe, and I think he made more than just a movie with Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, so all, all that time period um, 
Charles Aznavour too is a huge influence of mine. I think he was very well known in America at some point. Um, I like songs that tell a story. I like to be able to sing lyrics that mean something. And I think that that's very much part of, a, of the French tradition of what they call chanson réaliste, right? It's little story songs of, of everyday life of the people of Paris. And mm. I, re I focus on lyrics always. I uh, could feel that when you're performing, like not only was I just entranced by the music, but you were really, I don't, I don't speak French, but I was able to follow you through the way that you, um, you know, embody it on the stage. It was, it was really beautiful. That's you the greatest compliment. Oh, thank you. Really? I, I, well, I'm just blown away and I just, I'm really excited about your newest project, uh, Djangology. It's a reinvention of the music composed by Parisian guitar, guitarist uh, Django Reinhardt, set to release in June of this year. These are your own original arrangements and lyrics. I believe we heard one or a couple of yes, them. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and it's truly a tribute to your, you know, French and Romanian heritage. Can you talk about this project and how you, it, you came down uh, to lay these tracks? I, I, um, when I was in Paris um, as a teenager, I was around a lot of the gypsy jazz community, and uh, it was a lot of boys with guitars and playing really fast to impress each other. And I, <laughs> um, I loved it. I mean, it was fun to watch, right? But there wasn't really any place for me as a singer because, first of all, very few of uh, Django compositions have lyrics. And also it was all played very fast and I don't know, it, was, it just wasn't it. So I decided that I wanted a part of it too. Uh, so I decided to imagine what if Django Reinhardt was considered um, more as a composer than as a guitar master. Mm -hmm. um, and what if there was a Django songbook the way there's a Cole Porter songbook or a Gershwin songbook or, um, and what if he wrote songs for me? Uh, what would they sound like? And so I decided to, yeah, to, to, to think about that and to take each song and, and think what, it, what story is this telling? Should I slow it down? Should I speed it up? Should I give it a completely different feel? And um, it was super interesting writing lyrics to to all these um, these songs that I've heard all my life. And now I, I can't really hear them any differently anymore. That's the magic of it, right? Now I just hear them as completely different songs. Oh, that's so unique and interesting. And you're going to be playing those as part of your tour as you did today. You're in town for a Django Reinhardt birthday celebration tonight and tomorrow, Dazzle. You've got an early set tonight and both an early and a late set tomorrow. What's in store for these performances? What are you excited about? Well, we're going to basically um, play most of the album that is unreleased. So it's like a, um, what do you call it, a sneak preview or something. Right. <laughs> um, so you can hear it before it's released at the club. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to, to um, have you re-explore the music of Django or discover it for the first time um, with songs in, in French, in English, and also I wrote um, lyrics in the gypsy language, uh, which I think is, has never been done to Django music before, I, not that I know of, but I thought it would be cool um, to have a song in uh, Romanes, which is the gypsy language. Is there a part of one of those songs that you could give us a translation, like a breakdown, just a portion of the song, maybe a sentence or two? Of which song? <laughs> uh, one of them, of your choice. Um, well, one of the one of the songs I I sang today was um, "Douce Ambiance." Uh, this is a song I always hated very much, and so that was my main challenge for the album. <laughs> and um, I I had a lot of anger, I guess, <laughs> not only because of the song, but because of how the the plague, the pandemic, everything had happened. So. I found myself in Paris and there were a lot of people partying frantically because everything had been closed for so long. And so the lyrics of the song go like, basically, the nights in Paris feel like nights in paradise. Um, you can escape your boredom. Um, but the nights follow each other and they're always the same 
because um, in the night, all the <laughs> this is a French expression. La nuit, tous les chats sont gris. Is at night, all the cats are gray, <laughs> which means that face after face after face, it's always the same face. It's always the same bar. Mm. It's always the same drink. And there's this kind of like limbo that happens. And at the end of the night, you end up staring at your broken dreams at the bottom of an empty glass. Ooh. Yeah. They sound beautiful in the original language, but it's, it's great to hear the translation <laughs> as well. Uh, this is going to be on your newest record, Jangology, which is going to be released in June, but we'll get a sneak preview tonight here in Denver. And at, tomorrow. And tomorrow at Dazzle Denver. Early set tonight, early and late set tomorrow. I just want to thank you, Tatiana, Ava Marie, and your band. Again, you were joined by Wallace Seltzer on bass, Daniel Garlitsky on violin, and Dion Berardo on guitar. Thank you so much for coming by KUVO and sharing this beautiful music with our community. <laughs> Thank you so much. So glad to be here. Special thanks to the Bonfi Satin Foundation, Drum City Guitarland in Wheat Ridge, owned and operated and staffed by working musicians since 1965. Schmidt Music in Englewood, specializing in pianos, keyboards, band and orchestra equipments, sheet music and more. Grace Design Pro Audio in Lyons, Colorado. Donors of the Carlos Lando Musician and Event Fund, all made possible thanks to them. Kubo Studio Club members and Beat Collective Club members, thanks for today's broadcast, it was engineered by Klaus Larson, video production by Mark Montour Larson and Alec Kenefick. Thank you so much.